Welcome to A Show with our hosts, Ari Saloy and Lane Surratt. The hell again? No. Damn. Not at all. <laughs> okay, um, well, welcome to our new show. This show is going to be something that we upload about every week. This show is something that me and a couple of my friends decided yeah. that we're going to try to create. This show was just the idea that we brought together. It's going to have all kinds of different little videos. This show is going to be kind of hectic and everything. This right here is Lane. He was the voice actor that made that beautiful intro. Um, yeah. Dude. No. Say something. I don't know what to say. Dude, say something. Um, hey guys, I'm Lane. Yeah, okay, we're good. <laughs> Cut, action. Uh, Nightingale's talking offset. All right, we don't care. Um, nope. <laughs> so this is our first episode, and we're gonna bring up an old character that my friend Lane here actually made called Scrunchy Man. Why did you create this character? I needed a grade that was not bad, so I made Scrunchy yeah. Man. Again. <laughs> and since Valentine's Day is coming up, we're gonna talk about who gave you all those scrunchies. Well, my girlfriend did, and she wanted me to wear one, and I wore all. So I have a girlfriend, man. I, she, I don't even wear a scrunchie. That's so middle schooly. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Why? Why? I don't know. Do they get in the way? To. What? Do they get in the way? Oh, yeah, definitely. All the time. <laughs> Let's just show the clip. Scrunchy man is here. Leave him alone. Let me help you. You're gonna die. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, that was a uh, video. Wow. I won't I won't say I, too much it, about it. Thank you very much. Scrunchy me. Came to the rescue. Yep. Sure did. Didn't you only get like ten fishes to make that? Yeah. Oh, was that them? Yeah. <laughs> I I remember watching you make that video. I was stressful and dreadful and <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Your last minute editing. I don't even remember. Thank I, god I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, since Valentine is recently or was recently, I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to talk about Valentine's a little bit. I have a girlfriend which I very much enjoy having. There are people like Michelle over here who say this about Valentine's Day, which makes no sense to me. What do you think about Valentine's Day? I hate Valentine's Day. Get off the set. <laughs> Valentine's <laughs> hater. You're a hater! Stop being a hater! Stop being a hater! Stop being single. Stop being oh single. Uh, Lane, what do you have planned for Valentine's Day? Um... I don't know. You and your girlfriend with the little matching hearts. Yeah, we, I don't know, we're gonna get each other stuff. And did you get her the mask or did she get you the mask? She got me the mask. What have you gotten her? A lot of things. What are you getting her for Valentine's Day? A uh, ring. Do you think she's gonna watch this? Probably not. <laughs> that, I felt that too. My girlfriend said she's not gonna watch it. She's like, this is too cringy. <laughs> no, nah, she's like, I don't want to support you. Jeez. It sounds so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So that's all you're gonna. What are you gonna do for Valentine's Day? I don't know. This is when, when we get there. How much are you spending on your girlfriend? Oh, probably gonna spend like a hundred dollars, but don't tell her that. What What do you feel like she's gonna get you? Uh, probably a lot of things. That she probably shouldn't, but um, <laughs> she probably shouldn't, yeah, because she'll overspend on me. Yeah, I, like, I, I feel like that. Me. I feel like that. Like, you, you try to you try to be simple and something like with them, and then they're just like whoosh with like yeah, huge definitely. things again. That's just too much. And then you just got Michelle saying that she hates it. Valentine's Day is one of the happiest like days, or it could be one of the saddest days. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, it's not. <laughs> Leave. You just go. This is our show. You can leave. But then you got people like Nightinger that's been married for such a long time. They don't really do anything except go to a store, grab a card, show them, <laughs> and then put it back on the rack. 
Nottinger, I just called you out in the air. The way to do it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. At least you're happy. Well, thank you for joining us for our very first episode. Um, like we said in the beginning, we would always love to enjoy your feedback. And since this show is such a new thing, it's going to be weird. Days might not be scheduled. We might get these not get these out on time. That's completely okay. Thank you so much for joining us, and can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Hi, we are also here with Kennedy Fortnier. Kennedy, what are you doing for Valentine's this year? Um, I'm with my friend and her boyfriend to go out. So, your third wheeling? Yeah. Are you excited to third wheel? Are you going to buy yourself chocolates and flowers and act like the guy gave to you? No. I'm probably going to go. Are you going to get dressed up? I don't know. So, you just don't know? What are you going to do if these plans fall through? Are you just going to be by yourself? Well, we're just going out to eat, then I'm going to that sounds like a very fun job. I'll probably have to work too. All right, thank you very much for coming. Have a great day. All right, so we're here with Mr. Corey. Mr. Corey, what are you doing this year for Valentine's Day? Well, what am I doing for Valentine's Day? Funny you should ask. Um, I don't know, I've got children. I'm probably going to make them a heart shape. You know you can order those for pizza, right? You know, I could. You're going to buy yourself chocolate? No, no, well, technically, yes, but my wife has scholars for me tonight, so I'm buying both of our Valentine's candies tonight. Uh, but I'm also getting us a really nice steak for a big Saturday night. Huh. Are you guys going to go anywhere fancy or anything? <laughs> no, there's a plague. You shouldn't go anywhere. And if you do, wear a mask and stay six feet apart from others. Thing is, we needed that in this episode, so. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right, we're here with Miss Hansel. Um, this year, our kids got involved and decided that what we're going to do for Valentine's Day is go to Dairy Queen and get large blizzard. So we will be at Dairy Queen. Very unfortunate since I work at Dairy Queen. So, Sunday. Uh, asked specifically for Aries to make my blizzards. Great day.